Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the December release blog hop with Simon Says Stamp. And I have not one, not two, but three projects to share with you featuring the new Diamond Tiles die set. And I got a soft spot for it because my oldest daughter, Alex, actually designed this months ago. And it does kind of coordinate with her previously released Good Vibes stamp set. You can see here that the one diamond in the stamp set is the same as the diamond in the die set, similar size. Okay, so when Alex created the diamonds, I, I do this with my daughters. Whenever they come up with an idea, I'm like, you gotta sell me on it, so give me some mock card ideas that you would do with these dies. And when I saw, this is what she came up with. This is what she sent me. And I was like, girlfriend, I love it. I love it. You sold me 100%. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't wait to play with the diamonds, which is what I'm going to do here today. So first things first is get the old metal snips and cut them apart. I'll show you how I store them. After I snip them all apart, I trim a piece of mag magnetic sheeting. I buy a pack of it and then I trim it down so it fits in the stamp storage pockets. And that's the best way I found a storm. So here's what you get. You get the, the three different sizes and four different patterns. The last one's just solid. I use those for backers, but of course you can just do solid diamonds. You can do whatever tickles your fancy. Now, I've got all the little pieces of all the little rainbow colors of cardstock out of my scrap bin drawer. And a lot of these are Simon's stamp cardstock. Some of it is Concord 9th. Anything that's not in those two categories, I don't even know at this point. Might be Hero Art, a little bit of Lawn Fawn. Um, I just love all the colors and I like mixing them together. It's a rainbow family, right? Okay, so here's the smallest diamond that I'm gonna do repeatedly out of all these colors. And I'm kind of just going off of one of those examples that Alex showed me. You see the little inner parts that pop out? You could use those as well. I was gonna do that, but then I had other ideas, you know? There's only, yeah, you know, I have so many ideas and not enough time, right? Okay, so I'm popping all these up, cut a bunch of slivers of foam tape and I stick them on my little cutting plate from my die cutting machine and then I have little slivers of foam tape ready to go. That's, that's a very professional way to do it. Not really, but it works for me and I'm popping these on. You don't have to pop them, but you know what I say, dimension is life. But you could just, you know, adhere them flat down onto the card too. It'd be equally as gorgeous, but I love the shadow. I love all these colors coming together. Now they're hanging off the edge and I got to trim them off. So I pulled out the old Tim Holtz, uh, what are these called? Haberdashery. I just like saying that. And then also the big ones, those big Tim Holtz, those are, those are Cadillacs. So I trimmed all that off. Now for the sentiment, Kathy Zilski, she's got several new word dies in the December release. I'm using the hello, just a simple hello with white and I believe that is slate cardstock by Simon's Stamp. Popping that up, I popped up the white word die onto the slate, popping up the slate onto the card base. No embellishments needed because this card is fire. Okay, next card. This one's a little more um, intricate, but a lot of love, a lot of excitement. So this is, um, I think the, the middle size diamond. You could even go larger. And I'm doing this out of two different shades of red. So for every diamond, I do a lighter and a darker. And then you piece them together for the diamond magic. And it looks like 3D, you know, a diamond coming at you. Like, I don't know if it's going in or going out, but I love it. It's making me dizzy. And then I do one out of the solid white, put a little foam tape on there, and then I'll pop on all those little pieces. Is it time consuming? Yes, it is. Some might say it's tedious. I say it's therapeutic. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world and piecing together diamonds, if that's what if that's what gives you peace, you know, if that's what gives you joy, then you better just do it, honey. And that's because like, let me tell you, we got a lot of people in this apartment right now. We got Alex, we flew her over here for Thanksgiving and Christmas break. Probably wasn't the best time to travel, but we never see her. And her college now has turned into online. She's going there for a college, for a soccer scholarship. And 
it's just been a hot mess. Okay, so, and then my son and my husband both work with the uh, hockey team. They had a couple guys test positive, so now the whole team's in quarantine. And luckily, no one's gotten sick. No one's uh, tested positive over here, but been a lot of quarantine. Even Charlie, uh, somebody in Charlie's school tested positive, so they shut that down. But he was living his best life. Let me tell you, quarantine was his dream. He loves to stay home, and uh, but today was his first day back. And I can't believe they got him back. They're wearing masks all day. I don't even know. I don't know what's up anymore. All I know is that these diamonds are getting me out of bed in the morning. Now for, I'm going to pop this up. I trimmed it down. Not going to lie, it kind of broke my heart to trim it down. But you got to do what you got to do for a standard size card. Okay, for the sentiment, pulling out another Kathy Zilski goodie from the December release. This is the Hugs Die. And I did this one out of vellum and gold foil. Again, I popped up the hugs and uh, popped it up right in the center. Card number two is finished. Now, card number three, I'm using the leftovers because that's what you call being thrifty and being nifty. Okay, so I line them up. It's almost like a little argyle pattern here. And I hold them down with some of this thick thermal web purple tape. You know, I ran out of post-it tape. So now lately I'm using painter's tape and thermal web. You just use what you got. You use what you got. And I put little slivers of foam tape because I'm not going to say it again. Am I a broken record? My kids say that I, that I am. But, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Okay, pop this up on a cream card base. Now, for a sentiment, I'm using one of these reverse sentiment strips. I love these. I use these, if not every card, every other card. They're like the dream. The white on black is where it's at. I use the sentiment label dies, peace, love, and joy. I think that could be any time of the year. It's great for Christmas, but hey, I mean, when is it not good to have a little peace, love, and joy? Am I right? Okay, there's card number three. That one was so simple, it flew by. I blinked my eyes, card number three was done. Okay, so we've got hello, hugs, peace, love, and joy coming at you. Make sure and check out the rest of the December release blog hop with Simon's stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.